So, alright, YouTube, we're here for another League of Bricks Delver. Like, the problem with, like, Bitter Blossom can just be, like, you can, like, what's coming in again in the format is always the mirror. A lot of people are bringing in ways to deal with X1s. Um, Okay, in the mirror, a lot people are bringing in ways to deal with X1s, and their, uh, like, true name nemesis just kind of invalidates that losing light. Well, you're taking four points a turn because of true name. But I think in our last league, you saw I won a match because I bitter blossomed. My opponent bitter blossomed. Hope everyone's having a good day today. Hope y'all are, and I appreciate y'all for hanging out with me. Uh, this hand's weird, but I'm gonna keep it. We're playing. We're playing the same guys. We're playing another mirror. And I'm just gonna ponder on turn one. My opponent would like to daze this to put themselves back while we have a wasteland and more lands in hand. Then I'm cool with that. Um. I'm going to draw this force flow. Miracle Stone Blade, and it's also very good against depth stacks. Miracle Stone Blade, Grixis, um, Control, and Dark Depth Stacks. I'm just going to hold. Uh, brainstorm into their turn and then play Pyromancer and Ponder with Force. So my opponent's deck is like good and bad in the mirror. It's bad because like Thought Scour is just not a very good legacy card on its own. It is good because it enables um, it enables Force of Will. Okay, so we know we have a Gurmag Angler on top. I think this True Name Nemesis invalidates the Gurmag Angler. So I'm going to fetch. I probably should have done this in response to a fetch land. I'm going to brainstorm looking for a Daze. Or, or a Spell Pierce. All right, we hit another one of these. So I'm going to put this... Stifle and Bolt back. Actually, no, I should have pitched the Stifle. This was a mistake for me. Yeah, because we'd be in such better shape right now if we had a... Um, <clears throat> if we had a Ponder to go Young Pyromancer and Ponder. But like such is life. What about DNT? Comes in against DNT too. I should have like I just I stacked this poorly. Now I'm gonna waste their red source. We have a bolt on top. And we could be in a little trouble. Okay. We just don't want to get Gurmag Angler. That's, that's like the number one thing we're worried about at the moment. Did you hit it? Okay, Wasteland, my Black Source, sure. Okay, nice. We untap with the Pyro. Still in trouble to a Gurmag Angler. And I messed up. I punted this game. I should have um, I should have pitched Stifle to Force of Will, so I had a ponder. Okay, dead. And 
And now, like, this just doesn't do anything, which, it, I mean, this was my mistake. Take it easy, Johnny. Do I want this true name nemesis? I don't think I can afford to draw this true name because it's a dead draw this turn and it's a potential dead draw next turn. So I'm going to shuffle it away. And like my opponent hasn't dazed me yet and I haven't given them the opportunity to daze me. So like the odds of that resolving next turn are pretty low. And like while it's good, I just don't think it's, I don't think it's what we need to win here. All right, we're gonna get a flip. No. Gosh, our dollars have been shy today. We will take this. We only have one more force in our deck and Gurmag Anglers, so like we're pretty set up here to play with this Bob. Opponent's punished for bolting then. All right, um, I'm gonna let this go. <clears throat> we can get destroyed here if my opponent goes like land bolt days oh they're gonna true name me it looks like no days okay nope all right let's hope they don't have a follow-up here or if it's a follow-up it's boltable like Gurmag Angler would be backbreaking right there. All right. Draw another one. How's it going, Drake? Playing the Chad Harney special. Okay. So we should be good now, I think. I think we're untapping. We've only got one force and a Gurmag Angler left in our deck to swing the race. We just drew a bolt. What is this? Okay. I don't think I'm going to tango with this elemental. I'm going to wait to bolt something important. <clears throat> yeah, I like this deck. Okay. So this means they drew a true name nemesis or like a Gurmag Angler, I think. Which is going to be kind of tough to beat. Oh, wow, they didn't. Okay. That's not. I, I'm wrong. That's not what that meant. All right. We flipped our last force. Gas. So now I have to bolt this thing, probably. <clears throat> How many lands have they gone through? We've wasted... We don't waste them once. Well, we wasted... They have a Valk. So they probably have, like, one more Valk. I'm just going to hit this one. Kind of pigeonholes this into going here. <clears throat> and I'm just, I, I, we're in this sad situation where I think I've got to bolt this. Because, like, if I do bolt it, then the Gurmag Angler in my deck doesn't kill me. I'm going to bolt it in a turn, because I would rather bolt a Delver after a Ponder. They chose to not shuffle. So, like, there could easily be, like, a, um, a Delver coming down here. 
Okay. A Delver that is poised to flip a Rooney. All right, no Gurmag. Fork Bolt, not bad. Stifle, not bad. Now we're just, don't kill me now, Bob. I'm going to stifle this 100% because the last thing that we want is for our opponent to get black mana to be able to play Gurmag Angler. They target themselves. They have Thought Seasons in their main deck. Okay. Okay. All right. We don't have any forces in our deck. So again, the only thing that kills us is either lightning bolts from our opponent, which they've only got one left in their deck. Wasteland. I think I'm going to stifle this because I don't want to have to fetch to find another red source. And I know that, like, as loose as that sounds, like, it just saves me a life. Like, I might have to stifle my Bob at some point. All right, we drew a land. Gas. More gas. Um, what do I have? I have more relevant. I'm going to brainstorm off of this, off of the black source. Okay, and then I can just put back two lands. And then I'm not going to get bobbed. I'm going to I'm going to reveal the land and then I'm going to shuffle before my draw step. Get an underground C. <clears throat> and again, I have one card in my deck that kills me. You should be able to see it with the cardboard live viewer. I think that's up. It's up. It's up on my end. Oh, I already played a land. Tilt. Okay. So again, the only card that kills us is Gurmag Angler. We have one in twenty-seven chances. We can fight over a lightning bolt. Our opponent can only fetch once, so no Gurmag. All right, Pyromancer. Okay. I think work might be blocking it. Could be dumb though. Um. Let me see if it's on Goldfish. I top baited the event this weekend on Moto, the challenge. Let me see if it's there. I doubt they have it up yet because sometimes they're slow on this. Yeah, they have they have a legacy, competitive legacy from like Friday up. Okay. So we're on the draw in the mirror. So I want to get these Diabolic Edicts in. And I want these Blasts. And I want these Inquisitions. And these, like, I just want cards that are functioning. The problem with this deck is this deck is not very good on the draw. It's insane on the play. Not, not great on the draw. I usually like to cut one of these, two of these, and then all three of these on the draw. But yeah, during the challenge, I went 9-0 or 10-0. <clears throat> well, like, weren't we less than 50% anyways? Like, even back in the days with Shaman? Because didn't you play, like, what? 18 lands. You played 8 1-drops. So that's... That's 26. 
you played like what three pyromancers 29 you played like then you played like what between two and four true names between two and four total of true name and Gurmag angler right I could just cut Gurmag angler like not really feel that bad about it and play another spell or something like that or like play two true name nemesis and just rely on these boys. But I, I think like like I have 27 hits in my main deck. Like I think that's okay. Thank you there, Corks. I thought I played that game pretty well. I will submit my deck. But like what the problem is what do I keep in? Like do I keep in some stifles? Like I like to have some forces on the draw. That's, a, that's another issue with this deck is that, like, it's not super... Like, I need help on the draw, and I have to figure that out. And that's what, like, the Inquisitions and shit are for. Like, that's just a big issue with my deck. You're owning. I do love me a Gurmag Angler. All right, no play from our opponent. We're going to get stifled? What? What is happening? Okay, nice. So we have more Valks than we have um, whatever they are. So the hand like this, we're likely going to force a Bitter Blossom here. And then we're just going to get dazed, and then we're going to hurl. And I think I force a Pyromancer also. I think I just have to hope to force their play untapped. Well, no, we're not going to force this. I think I'm just going to play another Delver and then play a fetch land. There's no sense in jamming our Bob. We don't have to. Her opponent's played a very slow game so far. I was so mad. I'm still so salty about not being on the play for the top eight of that challenge. I hate how Moto does that. It happened to another guy that I follow. A guy, Connor, that I follow on Twitter. He, he top aided a, a Moto PTQ, which is like more important. And he was on the he was the number one seed and on the draw in the quarterfinals and the semifinals. Okay, you got it. All right, Bob. Take us to the promised land. Okay. And Bobby. I think this card is really good right now. Because, like, against, like, the Dark Depth decks and, like, Storm and Ant, they just don't have a good answer to this card. I think I'm going to force this as bad as this feels. Not on the draw. Like, we get browned by Reb or Spell Pierce. Plus for Storm, that does it too. Yep. Yield through this turn. No. And, like, I was okay dying on that hill. If we untap with this, it's just so good. Alright. What do we got? Well, we had our own Edict, which is nice. I think I'm just going to draw this Wasteland and Wasteland them, and then draw the Pyromancer next turn. So let's just go like this. Get this Black Source. And like next turn we can play Pyromancer, and we can have Diabolic Edict up. All right, you waste me, I waste you, we all get wasted together. Still going to draw the Pyromancer, I think. I think the Pyromancer is better than the average draw. The question is, do I play it into so much mana? I don't think I'm going to, but I have to shuffle before my next, um, before my next draw because it's a land. So I will fetch, I should have fetched in their end step, that was stupid. 
because like if they went to fight over it i mean we, we wouldn't fight back because we can't but okay now i'm gonna run this out well yeah i'm gonna run this out we we, we have like a lot of threats maybe it's poor to run this out maybe i should just like pass and not do anything Okay, interesting. Okay, so they just don't have an answer. Is that what you're telling me? Ooh. Um, we can hit Gurmag or Bob. We have one more Bob with Gurmag, and like a discard spell is really good. So I think I'm gonna leave on my black mana. Whoa. All right. Um. I could buy stacking that different differently so that we could draw the edict and just have multiple edicts. I think I'm gonna try to do that. I'm gonna sit on this um, young pyromancer for as long as like sit on this fetch land for as long as I need to, and just draw the bolt and then have like multiple edicts available. So this feels like a Gurmag angler or a yeah angler. We're not going to get dazed. I'm just going to untap and then edict them. Play it slow and steady. Get Michelle for token. We can get spell pierced. Or fluster storm. They would have already used a fluster storm. So they have two dazes. And I think we make them use both, even though we shuffle away our second edict. Because, like, we can set up a situation where we just get a two-for-one off of our Diabolic Edict. Oh, this is kind of tough. But I would like to get my value. But is getting my value worth getting losing an answer to the board? This is where if I would if I would have stacked this right, this would just be no problem. We get our two for one and we kill this angler next turn. I think I'm just gonna make them spend two cards. Oh shoot, I'm not gonna make them spend two cards. That's okay. I wanted to hit okay and then do that. We have another one. We could also just not have the days, right? Well, I think they're dazing there 100%. I, I, I should have cracked and gone for it and just gotten my cards. I should have stacked my ponder right first. That was my first mistake. <clears throat> I'm just going to jump here. Because, like, I'm going to edict them again. Well, no, I'm going to... God, I'm playing this, like, so poorly. I'm not playing this game very well. I think I'm going to double block. So we, well, what I want to do is I want to double block. If my opponent plays true name, no, nah, I'm just not going to block. Whatever, I'll just take the damage. I feel like I made a mistake and I have to not compound it. Oh, we have another big angles in the house. Okay. Okay, pass the turn. And now I think I, if my opponent attacks with Gurmag Angler, I'm going to bolt it before blockers and see if that resolves. Okay. Okay. 
And then I'm okay with this running into like a daze here. Okay. It's not going to run into a daze. <clears throat> so I think my opponent has another daze. So let's just pass. Because like, I think that's what the double daze or what, when they daze my spell and I didn't pay for it. I've not played this game very well. Um, I'm just going to blast this. Like, I could save this for a true name. And I'm going to feel kind of stupid if I get true named here. Ooh, another angler. Okay. I'm almost certain my opponent has a daze. Okay. We did it. Student Underground C. This I think this version does play four anglers. You kind of get browned by a marsh casualties here, but they have to have it and have second black source. And I think we're going to trade. We're going to trade um, Force of Will for. We're going to trade Days for Lightning Bolt here. Because we have another one. Our two names on the board. Pick your days up. Okay. <clears throat> I could have attacked with one. I'm going to bolt that, Delver. So both of our edicts are gone. So we need, like, another true name. Or uh, we need another true name or, like, another Pyromancer to start to wall tomorrow or our own Gurmag Angler. A Delver of our own would be nice. I think I'm going to waste this Underground C in my opponent's upkeep. Or if they tap mana here. Takes them off like Hardcast Force if that's still in their deck. Helps make this Spell Pierce more live. All right. Um, I am going to trade the board for one of these. I take five, which is a little unfortunate, but we can still daze a true name unless they have land true name. Spell pierce this. My opponent pays. And now a daze. 
And if they have force plus blue, blue card, they have force plus blue card. Now, how many edicts have they? They've gone through one. That's a pretty nice draw. I'm going to keep my land in my hand because it'll make a brainstorm better. Okay, come on, something. Oh, that's nice. Uh, we'll just get rid of the Pyromancer. I think I can attack. By attack, I have to sack this, but I think that's okay. Let's just try to get this game over with. Hey, Phil, leave it. I think I trade anglers. Okay. Now we play Delver. This has been a nice game. This has been a very nice game. Okay, so they bolt that. Got it. Pyroblast, same thing. Wasteland. So we still have a black source in hand, which my opponent should know about. And we've got to trade. My opponent's last card is Diabolic Edict. It's Diabolic Edict. If it's Trunate Nemesis, then it's Trunate Nemesis. There we go. Best draw on the deck, baby. I'm going to hold um, my Underground C because I have no reason to get it Wastelanded. And I don't have many relevant cards at this point to play. Like Dark Confidant's probably still a good play. The Skirmag Angler is thick. This is what? Okay, so how many bolts has my opponent gone through? One, two, only two? That's scary. How many of these do I have left? One, two, this is number three. So if I attack and they edict me, they're dead to bolt, which we've got two bolts left in our deck. I don't know, my opponent's got one card and they've seen, what, like 28 cards from their deck? So we lose to, like, if we don't attack, we lose to edict bolt. If we do attack, we lose to just Bolt, but probably Edict as well. One, two. If we draw a blue card, it's getting much better, right? Oh, no, it's not because we can't pitch. So I shouldn't count this. Yeah, so then we're just going to attack. Well... What do we have left in our deck? We've got, we have, we have one young Pyromancer, we have one Bob, 
we have one Delver, two True Names. So we have five threats, and we've got two Bolts. So we have seven draws that are really good. We've got one Ponder, one Ponder, and how many Brainstorm do we have? Oh my god, we don't have, we have all, we have four Brainstorms left in our deck. I think I'm going to wait. I think attacking is correct. I can't counter fight either way. And this I'm not dead to bolt. I should play my land though. You're attacking. My coward. I should have played my land last turn. That was a mistake on my part. And I should have played my underground C this turn. Now I can't do anything. They have been through... They've been through two lightning bolts. And they probably have one more edict in their deck. So that's what I was worried about. Now things are getting a little hairy. I played the wrong land here. I should have played my underground C. I think part of the reason that sways me is that I just have four... I have four Brainstorms left in my deck. You know, like, I feel like my deck is, like... I have a good quantity of cards. But if my opponent lands, like, a true name here, then I'm... Then, so I shouldn't have just thought about that. Okay, so now we're in... Now we're just dead on the board. And I'm punished for not Wastelanding. So my brainstorm. Yeah, I mean, I, I determined I wasn't beating Edith. I like I thought I could beat Bolt, but like I looks like I played myself scared here. Yeah, and I was just dead. Yeah, looks like I played myself scared. Son of a bitch. What do we got? Fourth Bolt was the next card that would have done it. Blech. Yeah, I just played myself scared. All right, we can cut these forces. Uh, we can get Stifles back in on the play. We can get Bob back in on the play. I, to, I might cut my. I don't like spell pierces. If I can, if I can deal with it. So I just played, I played myself scared. Right. Get the Delver out there. I wonder if this, this is probably a hard matchup. This triple, though like this triple Gurmag Angler, or this, I think it's the four one that like Tannen played. I wonder if there's merit to me pondering just because uh, um, because I can't protect this Delver. Flip. Yeah, buddy. So if I Inquisition first, I can take a daze and then hit this. What do I think I'm in for? Alternatively, I could just... No, what I'm going to do here, I'm okay with them dazing me. Dazing like a ponder. So I'm just going to blast this. And then I'm going to ponder. Or I could just like play around it all. But I kind of like setting them back mana, especially if I have a Wasteland. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm gonna let the I'm gonna give him the opportunity here to daze this. Because if they daze this, play a land, then I wasteland them, and then I'm up, and then I can go like Inquisition. Okay. And I like I like doing that, but I'm not sure that it's like like I'm not sure it's super correct to. I guess they bolt my Delver. Now I feel kind of like derpy. Okay, they blast my Delver. All right, start out. All right, I guess I can start with brainstorm. Okay. So I can like put two of these back. Wasteland them. And then Inquisition. I'm kind of soft to Gurmag. All right, I'm just going to take Lightning Bolt. And I'm going to get my Pyromancer forced next turn, I think. I'm going to get my Bob forced because I have another Pyromancer. Okay. <clears throat> I have to play quickly. I might chat less here. And I'm going to run out Bob. I think that like without spells, I don't really want to worry about this Pyromancer. The true name? You know, TNM, you boy? No, nope, you're in Bolt Bobby. Okay. Ponder. Okay. All right, here we go. This looks like a true name. Or another bolt. Or a Gurmag. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Oh. Dude, sock me in the gut. Holy shit. That's just like vomit inducing. Ugh. Do I bolt this end of turn? Both teams played hard, yeah. Um... Probably not. True name, Gurmag. Delver. All right, I'm gonna let him go up with it one more time. And then bolt it and a turn and hope I untap into something. They flip it to a ponder. I wonder if I messed this game up somewhere. God, you're so supportive, Rob. Like, did I, did, should I have not let them daze that? That cuts off a lot of our outs. Like, for me, leaning into them the daze was that wrong to do? All right, we're going to bolt this. I'm gonna untap and draw a lightning bolt like a professional. 
I don't want to play Magic anymore. Yeah, I, I, I'm good. Problem is, if I wasteland, I can't wasteland because then it cuts me off. True name nemesis, and like I think true name is one of my ways that I win. So I shouldn't have played my land. That was poor of me. Maybe you Inquisition. I did Inquisition. I went Inquisition. I went Wasteland, Inquisition, Ponder. Ponder knowing that I could play into a daze. God. Just like what an insult. Just one turn late. Maybe, like, did, did everything just, like, did everything that could go wrong in this match, like, go wrong? You know? Is that what happened to me? I'm going to take one more. I'd like to draw True Name or Pyromancer. That's great. So like now do I have to bolt a Delver? Because like the second one's gonna flip. Probably have to bolt this now. Because it's gonna flip. I don't know how I'm beating this. Alright, I'm gonna bolt this and then the top card of my deck's true to nemesis. No, I went wasteland. I went, I went. Uh, I think on that turn I went wasteland. Inquisition, ponder, playing into a daze. All right, I'm gonna bolt this, and then the, I'm gonna assume the top card of my library is true name nemesis. Well, no, I'm talking about in like turn three. Like, this daze right here is what I'm talking about. Oh. So maybe I did go bull. I went blast. Okay, you're right. I went blast. And then I inquisitioned a few turns later. So I, I'm on, like, a different setup. But where's the ponder? Where's the ponder here? Ponder. They are rolling down. We return Delver. I guess maybe I could have played my Delver there to like True Nemesis. Alright. I've had enough. Mm. Like I think it's easy to like cop out and say that. Like maybe it's easy to cop out and say that. I, like, got outdrawn. But is there more to it than that? Or did my opponent just, like, rip? Because, like, my opponent ripped answers. Oh, jeez. Sorry, Phil. Like, my opponent ripped this to kill. Because, like, I put one of my creatures to get forced. Then they ripped this. Because I inquisitioned this. They ripped this to kill my second creature, and then they ripped this to kill my third creature. Oh, that's a tough one. That one's going to, like, sit with me for a second. Because like, I feel like I feel like in Magic it's a cop-out to just say, like, I was outdrawn. And, like, then we have the issue here where it's, like, if I just attack in game two, we don't get to game three. So, like... I tossed, let's say that I, let's just say that, like, because the chat and, like, Drake, who's, you know, won a legacy open, said that I should have been attacking with my true name. So, like, I tossed game two. I was, I was too passive. And then I was just, like, sucked out on in game three. But game three wouldn't have happened if I would have played correctly.
but my opponent ate my lunch. Took my lunch. Game three definitely felt like Bitch's head. You mean just like the last hope? Yeah, we're still looking for it. We'll have to uh, get it going. I'm going to keep this hand. Okay, so we're playing against lands or depths. Some type of land strategy. Oh, there's a land here. I, like, the fact that I'm playing against lands kind of makes me want to ponder. Because I don't want to get, like, my one source gone. Does that make me a coward? I think I'm just going to play Delver. Because, like, I think there's a better chance that we're playing against slow depths than lands. So does slow depths, does the depths deck play this card? I don't know. I know they play the 75. I'm just going to play this down here. I'm not going to be a coward. <clears throat> yeah, there was no exploration. Um, I mean, each one of them is a mox deck. We just really don't want to see a wasteland, which we did. All right, flip, baby. Thoughtsies, you got it. Took my force control. Okay. I want this to flip and then have a land underneath it. I think. <sighs> okay. I mean, if we're not going to flip, like, at least we drew a land. At least we didn't flip to like a true name or something like that. So let's attack, get in, and ponder. <clears throat> Draw this. And then, oh, I stacked that wrong, damn it. Ugh. Sinkhole. Oh, so we're playing against like a pox deck. Oh, I'm so mad that I stacked that wrong. I'm going to force this so I can get Bob down. Like, Bob is likely very good against this deck. Just the old resource denial. Yeah, it wasn't a good um, stack for sure. But I wanted to draw the force and I wanted to draw the land. So like maybe I'm just supposed to do it like that. I don't know. Alright, let's get Bob. Against this kind of like a slow resource denial deck, Bob should be pretty solid. We could get bridged, which we just don't have an answer to game one. But Hope our Delaware flips. All right.
Three, choose a card name. Reveal a card the right of your hand. If you have chosen... Hey. Hey. That card is card you've chosen. You'll two damage to any target. Okay, it doesn't matter how we stack these. We don't want to fetch land. We have to flip this Delverino. Because this thing can just pick off our creatures, right, over two turns. Tilt. I would like to reveal Lightning Bolt. I would like to ponder for a land. I, in fact, did ponder for a land. I think I'm going to... I kind of want to end a turn bolt them. And I think I'm going to. Because, like, over three turns, this can lock me out of the game. And even if they go land and snaring bridge, they've got three cards in their hand, so I still get an attack in. So I think I'm going to bolt them. I, to, to be fair, I said I was going to bolt them when I was making the... I thought in my head I was going to bolt them when I was making the stack, so I might have, like, stacked my things wrong. But I'm fairly certain I'm lightning bolting here. End of turn. Yeah, I think with my clock... So they have to, like, randomly guess right here. And reveal a card a random. So they have to get lucky to hit this. Nether Spirit. Okay. What is Nether Spirit? I don't even know what that card does. Pulling it up. Any of your upkeep, Nether Spirit is in your graveyard. You may return to Nether Spirit. So it's like a squee on steroids. Okay. Alright, Stifle, no bueno. Here. Uh, Inquisition, probably good. Bitter Blossom is probably good. Um. Having Bitter Blossom, force, all my forces and Bob is a lot, though. I wonder if I want a Braid for Cursed Scroll. It, like, this deck likely has a Staring Bridge as well. So, like, I'm going to go like this. I'm going to cut, like, True Name's a little slow. I think we're going to go like this on the draw. I could, like, cut one of these. Bring in maybe, like, a Surgical to hit that nether spirit if that's actually like a, a concern of our mm -hmm. what does this deck do I don't even know what this deck does okay I see what's going on here so then it does sound like this is a bitter blossom kind of matchup Is this Gurmag Angler? Like, Gurmag Angler is obviously, like, a good clock, but their deck seems so, like, mopey and anemic that if I just survive the initial onslaught and I can ever just play a card, then I'm all set. And, like, bitter, having, like, the Bobs are good because they're going to, like, draw me out of this, like, abyss that got me in as long as I don't get last hoped. But then again, like, Bob's pretty poor in the draw. But, like, Gurmag Angler's not that great, I don't think. I don't know. This deck's weird. I'm just going to submit. I hope they don't put a chain on so I don't have to read it. They probably have it fixed on Moto. I'm the I like I guess I'm gonna keep I have a ponder into a bitter blossom. We kind of fold to a discard spell here, but like 
Uh, is your mana rich drain? Do you like Tiana enough for Angler? I just, yeah, I don't know if T. I, I just cut Angler because I had, like, I think Bob's probably pretty solid against the discard deck. So I brought in, like, the Bob's. And um, like, I wanted the Bob's, and I thought Bob's forces and Angler is too much. Uh, we're probably getting getting on our EOT brainstorm game here. Okay. I think I'm gonna brainstorm end of turn anyways, so I might as well do it right now. So I could just put this, I literally could just put this Better Blossom on top, which is what I think I'm going to do. And then I'm going to put like, what card do I want? I probably, I mean, I don't want any other of these cards. I probably like this Wasteland's probably not good because I'm going to want to like keep as much mana as I can. So I'm just going to go like this, go like this. Let my opponent's him resolve. You him me, I him you, we all him each other together. Watch them like surgical me to shuffle, like to know that I protected like my bitter blossom. Oh wow, we kept force plus blue card. Dang. We're owning. Factory, what's your prize tonight? Um, I guess just force this. Though my bitter blossom, like, I don't really care if they tick up. My bitter blossom is gonna outpace it. I'm gonna feel bad if they have like a last hope to follow up with. The last hope one time. <clears throat> Don't last hope me, bro. Could I have just dazed? Literally, could I have? Like, I, I just lost. Like, that's, whatever, three hours into a stream and I'm tired. That, like, literally went over my head. If I could, if I didn't do that and I had the option to, it just, like, went right over my, went right over my head. Like, I just grabbed that play, held it out, and punted it. Yeah, that was just like a, if I could have done that, that was just like a pure mistake on my part, just zoned out. Pitching days to send a message. You got it. All right. Yeah, like I literally just zoned. If that was an option to me. Nice. All right, we're gonna go like this. I'm gonna draw the land, play the land, attack. Attack this lovely lady. 
She's not like this card has beaten me so many times. Oh my god, I can't believe I if I if I if I if they tapped out and I forced it, holy shit. Sinkhole. Rude. It's rude. Don't judge me. Playing on stream is hard. Smallpox. All right, let's send you there. They can't animate this, right? Okay. Feeling pretty solid about our positioning. Yeah, they're tapped out. Then, then yeah, like I just messed. I just, I just messed up. There ain't no other way to describe it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. So we're probably gonna draw the days. Yeah, I think we're gonna go. We want this in case our opponent hits an ensnaring bridge. Like, the Delver doesn't really matter. We've got enough of a clock going. Oh, Yo, who said I was going to get Tabernacle? Wow, this is obnoxious. They do not. Okay. So here's the big question. Am I just keeping these fairies and racing? Well, now I need to draw the Delver on top of my deck. So I think I'm just ditching this young Pyromancer. And I need to protect the Delver. So we're not playing for this elemental. I guess I'm gonna pay for my Pyromancer this turn. Because I could daze something. But again, like that doesn't really matter. I could just trade it with this Mistress Factory. Which I'm pretty okay trading it. Do I just attack with it? Attack, chump. Yeah, I'm just going to attack with it. It doesn't really do anything. Oh, my opponent could have just eaten it. But I have balls of steel. Joke's on you. Yeah, I, I always think this is this is like an old artifact mutable. All right, yeah, you can take the damage. And then we're just going to... Just going to keep the Pyromancer, and we're not going to attack him this time. Yeah, I mean, my opponent doesn't realize how bad at this game I actually am. Um, I guess it's actually worth... Worth, worth keeping the flyer at this point, right? My opponent thinks they're playing against a good magic player. They don't know that I'm just running the stone cold morons into their plays. I don't think we'll check them on it twice. I think at this point, I'm just going to ditch. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we're going to see if the... We're definitely just gonna keep the Delver. We get a free, we get to attack here, which is nice. Oh my god, this is obnoxious. Flip. Ooh. 
I will pay one for my Delver. All right, I have a bolt opponent. I have a lightning bolt. <clears throat> Fast and loose is how this 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 league is going. It's kind of nice. We get a jump blocker every turn for this. Oh my god. Opponent. Why are you gonna do this to me? How's it going, Jusk? Juke Juke Jukus? Block. <clears throat> I don't know if I can get out from under this tabernacle. No. Sad. Alright. I don't really want to play magic anymore. But we'll wait. Give it another round. All right. I yield. I yield, opponent. Okay. The bitter blossoms don't seem that great. I'm going to, like, go out on a limb and say that. Um... Fork will just like reach? I don't know. What a fun strategy. You're right. I guess Bitter Blossom's okay. Like, we ran into whatever it is, the stupid um, tabernacle, like the one of tabernacle, and they got us. Stifle the tabernacle trigger. Nice. All right, I'm gonna go with it's better than true name nemesis. And then we're gonna submit, and we're hope we're we're just gonna hope that we hit nothing but like dazes and delvers, and we just run them out of the gym. All right, I'm going to keep this. And I think we're going to just turn one, because, like, this Bob's all we got at the moment. So I'm just going to turn one, play my Brainstorm. Yeah, I'm just going to turn one, play a land, because I want to play my Bob on the play on two. And if they go discard spell, I can hide it. I'm going to brainstorm end of turn anyways <clears throat> because I can find a daze or a force. Yo, that's rude. Delray Levy and I just took send second. I should have fetched a different land. Um, all right, so we might as well put the, this land under Bob. And then just hope our opponent doesn't hit both of our lands. Now we should put this land under Bob in case, just so we have more lands in case we get land Boned. Ugh. Opponent. Why are you like this? Why are you like this, opponent? Alright, so I can pierce a Liliana.
for that garbage. You know what would be nice? If there was a force of well on top of my deck right now. I think I'm going to play Bitter Blossom because if my opponent plays like Smallpox or something, the Bitter Blossom is just like a safer play. Oh, I could have snared it. Yeah, I'm all over the place. I'm three hours in. I'm a little tired. Not not playing super well at the moment. Okay. This is not my finest magic. All right, now I'm just going to jam this. Hope my opponent doesn't have a targeted removal spell for it. We're going to ditch up. We're going to take up and ditch this ponder. Oh. God, that is so rude. I like to get taken out to dinner before this happens to me. Ugh. Because I made a mistake. Because I'm tired. I'm three hours in. My brain hurts. That's why. Now that's Liliana just going to body us. I think I decided to bring my Gourmet Angler back in. Yes. So let's find us an Angler. None of these do it. <clears throat> I probably should have, well, I played this wasteland out. Maybe I had to play my Delver. Maybe I had to play Delver there because it at least outpaces whatever my opponent's doing. Oh, man. My opponent has a spell they like. All right. We're going to play this Pyromancer out. Just to kind of either clear this Liliana... I'm going to braid this Mox Diamond just so that we can start to, like, I don't know, maybe at least try to keep these Planeswalkers in check. How's it going? Yeah, our opponent's just, like, bodying us. Let me look at my sideboard here. I'll do a sideboard. I have a true name and a Gurmak in here. Jesus. Gurmag Angler and my opponent misses. Well, that doesn't even do it because they go, like, up and down. All right. I'm done. I yield. Boy, we are getting beaten up today. Um, I appreciate everyone showing up today. Um, thank you for your views. My name is Dylan Hubby. I'm a part of the Cardholder Network. I still haven't fixed my page yet. I feel like it's too distorted to get it right, so the YouTube and the Twitter are cut off. Um, I'm a part of the Cardholder Network. Cardholder now offers loan programs. They sponsor teams on the Pro Tour. Uh, they have their own mentoring program. They're just a really good service and like the best bot chain around if you need help. 
with Magic Online Needs. I write for MTG Corner weekly, so you should check that out there. I think this week I'm going to write about the challenge from the weekend before or how the mulligan rule is going to play in modern a little bit. Um, Gamer Craze is the store that I learned to play Magic at. They're located in upstate New York, so you should check them out. Um, yep, they're, they foster like a college environment. There's four or five right around, so they have really competitive prices. If you want to interact with me, check me out on Twitter. That's linked below. And if you ever want to miss a stream, they're all archived on YouTube. I would love the support of being able to go over and subscribing on YouTube. It's free. I am over 900 now, so I only need 100, less than 100 more until I can apply for monetization. I don't know if I'll get it. I probably won't, but it'll be nice to at least apply. So, yeah, YouTube's been pretty fun. Like, I'm up over 100,000 views on my channel, so, like... I've had a good time doing it. We just got paired up. Perfect timing. So we can jump back in. Let's grind out these last three for the 3 2. Um, all right. This hand is pretty good. I would like something productive to do on turn one, but like, such as like, probably should let on my volcanic island to give a little more risk misdirection. Lotus Petal. We have a Daze, which is nice. Though I do not want to Daze something if I don't have to. Dark Ritual. Okay. And Tomb. So we're going to brainstorm here. Um, so put back this. So we're going to end up days. We can't even double days. Gross. I guess we just put back Fork Bolt and Brainstorm. And maybe our opponent, like, goes Cabal Therapy, and then all they have is... um. And all they have is whatever it is, Exhume. No, they just have to reanimate. Okay. I yield. I yield, opponent. Okay, so we want these to come in. Graph Digger's Cage. Diabolic Edict's like medium, but, you know, True Name is not that good in this matchup. We can get rid of our Fork Bolts, keep, like, a couple Lightning Bolts. Oh, move this over here to be able to pressure, like, the card reanimate. And I'm going to cut one Volcanic Island because we're lowering our curve and our opponent doesn't mess with our mana. Sort by converted mana cost. All right. Whew. Maybe we'll just get like wrecked here and be a quick 03 league to fix for our our sloppy play today. Who would like to play first? I'm gonna keep and hopeless discard spell does some work. All right, so we just take into because they have more cards that'll get that out of the graveyard. We're gonna be able to wasteland their land. I would love to draw a blue card. Oh, they exiled the zoom. I don't care which. Two drop they take. They might just take force. If they draw gristle, we will be sad. Why would we be sad, Brad? Because wouldn't if they've got like if their hand is unmask, unmasking zoom. Can they get it in there? Am I crazy? Oh, they reanimate my Bob. Oh. 
All right. Oh, they don't mess themselves. But Oh, you're right. I always forget this goes both ways. Your face makes me feel wow, rude. All right. Hopefully our opponent flips mono um mono crystal brands. All right. That's part of it. Top 10 anime betrayals. All right, Bob's on my team. What do I do? Because, like, I could just bolt this Bob and then start attacking, which is probably, like, the adult thing to do. But I could also just, like, bolt my opponent. If you bolt your own Bob, you're a traitor. Good, I don't want to be the ugliest one in the room. Hilly boy. Hilly boy. Um, so we know four out of the five cards. I think I'm just going to bolt this. I'm just going to bolt this, be sad. You leave Ruby alone. Is it correct to do? Or is it just Mimi? Is the question. It might actually be correct. White mana. Oh. What do we got? Cabal therapy, you got it. They have lots of aids. I guess they have a gristle brand. They chose force of will. Am I dead? I'm not dead, sweet. Y'all are me. What a positive environment we have. I'm going to play my land, I guess. Well, I have to draw land and force of will to cast it. So, like, I'm not going to play my land. This leaves him dead if we flip. And you're old. <laughs> what a supportive environment we have here. God, my Delver didn't even flip. <clears throat> All right. Um, my opponent magically gets both. So they need to draw Lotus Petal. Bob gives me more looks <clears throat> at Diabolic Edict. Yeah, I'm just going to like. I'm just gonna play it. Because like if my opponent reanimates Elish Norn, then like this doesn't do anything anyways. If my opponent reanimates Gristlebrand, then I wanna have as many looks at Diabolic Edict as I can. So can't handle that kind of a beating. It can handle some beatings, but not all of them. Billy Boy, we won. Wow. That Bob wasn't going to do us any damage. All right. Let's hit that old submit button. Podcast we had made on Gristle Brand. All right, we got a force, we have a discard spell, we have a bomb. Don't chance on me. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
Oh man. Oh man. What do we got here? Cabal therapy resolves. <clears throat> Can pitch two full of will. <laughs> Not good. Yeah, yeah. You right about that. Let's get that underground, or as as Dolly would say, that young underground sea. If you're reanimating, would you have mull Are you saying like you'd have mulliganed, Brad, or like unmask? Unmask. This pitching two cards in this economy. All right, well we're gonna Ponderosa. Hopefully we just draw Force of Will, then ponder into like I don't know. But let's just draw a Graph Digger's Cage and like call it a night. I think um, am I just shuffling? I think I'm just shuffling because, like, while these cards are great, I would like to I would like to look at six cards that interact next turn. And like, if we put Bob into play, we're just gonna trust that Bob's gonna do us. Yeah, we're gonna shuffle. Like we're we like if there was days or surgical, we'd have kept it. All right. No whammy. They have three cards. They have to both put the thing in the graveyard and reanimate it. All right. Oh shoot! I showed my opponent a card I didn't have to right there. Very poor, and I fetched when I didn't have to. That was all bad. Well, wouldn't you say, like, if you're not a scared boy, wouldn't you have just kept that? Like, Brandon Balls of Steel Dalloway? <laughs> One day, Tan, and I'll come to Jesus. One day, I'll come to Jesus. I'm going to play my fetch land again so that I can scry with my Delver. Um, doesn't really matter. All right, so we want Delver to resolve first. So first in, last out, we click on Bob. So click on Bobby. Because we have a fetch land. Okay. Now we get to see if we want to draw the card with Bob. And that Tide Pound Boy. Do you want to reveal this card? No. And I don't want to draw it either. <laughs> Represent. Okay, come on. All right, we drew a Delver. Oh, we drew a Graph Digger's Cage. I think this card, like the the stifles in my deck, might be nonsense, but I do think this card's really good. Because like against those slower decks, like they don't kill it, and. Oh, it's a slower deck. It's just it just like wins the game on its own. Um, against a slower deck, it wins the game on its own, and I'm just gonna play this thing out too. I'm, I'm kind of on autopilot right now, to be honest. It wins the game on its own against combo decks because they never kill it. <laughs> you got there, it was correct. I'm gonna spell pierce this. 
because I should not let things go in the graveyard. Well, does it really matter? I should just spell pierce the thing that gets my graph digger's cage off the board. It's okay, Dylan. I'm always on autopilot. <laughs> Think about plays, you'll lose more. <laughs> All right, doesn't matter now because we do not have said fetch land. Ooh. Daddy, we got a stifle. I drew a stifle and another card and a surgical. We're so good at this game. Despite what you saw in the two matches previous, I am very good at this game. Because I do shit like this. <clears throat> when you figure that out, Teddy, let me know. You got it. Yeah, dude. No one in the format kills this. Like, the matchups where, like, this deck struggles, like Dark Depths and um, an Ant, like, you bring this in against Dark Depths and Ant, and, like, they never kill it. It just sits there, and it draws you a million cards. Like, here, once we deal with, like, the first wave of pressure, it draws us a million cards. Um, obviously, against, you know, the decks where it goes long, like, if you stick it against Miracles or you stick it against Grixis Control, then it wins you the game. It's, like, the problem with this deck here is that it just isn't very good on the draw, and I, I need to figure out how to fix that. Oh, my computer's tweaking out. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Confidant is main deck tannin. <laughs> Dang, Confidant is main. Dude, the, the sweet thing is, is that there are so many, like, I feel like there's so many matchups in Legacy where your life total doesn't matter. That, like, even if I flip these, whatever, like... You know, like, obviously, like, this Bob, like, where Bob is not good is, like, on the draw in the Delver Raiders. That's where Bob's no bueno. But the other dang confident advocates insist on two. Yo, Phil, can you fix my computer, Phil? Shut the fuck up, Dad, and eat my bone. <clears throat> yeah, dude, that's how you do it. Just don't draw your bad cards. <clears throat> God, I looked at the... I like the Grim Lava Mancer cut. You mean you like Lava Mancer out or Lava Mancer in? Yo, Phil still has his balls. He got like, he got like that, uh, he got that, whatever, he got it snipped, the tube. He still has his balls. I just cut Lava Boy from the main deck because it didn't flip Delver. And I've only got 27. Yeah, so when we brought him home, I didn't check. And then I went to work. And my wife was like, she texted me. She's like, dude, Philly still has balls. And I'm like, what? I just paid a shitload of money. He better not have balls. And then she did like some Googling. It is an electricery. It is. Oh, what happened? Where did our match go? Who would like to play first? Yes. Oh, we're playing against Johnny. Hang on one second. Someone in the chat should set up a multi-twitch because uh, um, because uh, they should have a multi-twitch because Johnny is also streaming. He is uh, twitch.tv slash gc for set one, two, three. I don't know how to set up multi-twitch, but like if you want this, you can. 
Okay, I sent it into my chat so that I didn't accidentally see your hand. Multi Twitch is when you can see two different Twitches at one time. Like, you can have two of them going. And you can see, like, you can watch the game from both sides. But I'm going to keep my hand. It's like, there are computers on my lawn. <laughs> I can turn it on and off. Do you turn it on and off with the plug? Great, there it is. Now, you, if you do that, you can watch both of them. Any boy. I'm plugging. He probably does, dude. So we know we're playing against miracles, and we're not. We're just gonna play this, and we're gonna play Bob with. Uh, days and force up. Hey, boy. After this league, I'll take you OUT, bud. Tech support. <laughs> Tana, you are, you are my favorite old person. All right. We're just going to jam. We're going to daze a plow, and we're going to force whatever he does to, fi to fix it. Brainstorm. You got it. Thank you, uh, Peercore. What is this rotary? <laughs> All right. I don't understand why you wouldn't brainstorm with this on the stack. Windswept heat. We rocking them budget lands. I'm gonna lose this game because like I can't. <laughs> oh man, I should like just quit my job and stream more often, to just to listen to people talk. Does it? Ooh, fork bolt, bloodstain mire, attack for two. I'm gonna brainstorm. I would like to find a wasteland. I found a stifle. We probably can put this and this back. And then I'm going to fetch and ponder, I believe. No one expects the winter. <laughs> yeah. Um. What am I doing? What am I looking for? I'm not even going to play a Delver if I find it. So why don't I just like not do this? I fetched again. I fetched. We can just talk about all this fetching. God, please. Please. Please crack it. Yes. Plays with his Tron lands. Yet as a teenager. 
is the MTG version of the grandfather of Justice Warrior Force. Back in my day, one plus one plus one equaled seven. <laughs> we make fun of Tannen when he top eights tournaments like, oh, do you just slap myself with a force of will? All right, I would like to find additional threats for Dark Confidant. Because while I like drawing extra cards, attacking for two is not great. All right, so let's go here, here, here. Flip this young Delver next turn. We have the ammo to fight over force. He lost his train of thought. That's like the concussion happening. All right, so... I'm going to force this, and I think I'm going to pitch. Pitch a daze. So I have to resolve Delver first, which means I have to click on Bob. Because I need my Delver to flip. Yes. We draw another Del. We draw another one of these. We get in here. We smack. And I'm not going to play. I don't think I'm going to do anything. Like, I don't really want to brainstorm and lock myself. I think I'm just going to pass. What do you mean? It's actually better to do it this way because we only reveal one card to opponent. You're talking about what I did, right? I did, I did it right. So Supreme Verdict kind of browns us here. All right, you got it. You kind of fetch a lot of tendrils. Um, don't want to bolt him. I'm going to send one at him. Ponderosa. They see me pondering. And we just stuck a bot, like, you know, we just stuck a bot against a control deck, like. Bolt my opponent. Pick it up with, pick up the mana with the day. I should have just floated the red. I very much just like didn't really think here because my opponent is super dead anyways. This is whatever. Like we can just let this force of will resolve if we want. And then we still just five them. <clears throat> okay. Bitter Blossom, Pyroblast. Inquisition. Get this out of here. Get this out of here. Get this out of here. I think this is what we're doing, ladies and gentlemen. Dude, don't talk shit about Tannin's dog. You want a timeout? You want a timeout, Brandon? You can get yourself 600 seconds for that kind of speech. Don't tempt me with a good time. The things that we don't shit on in this chat, Tom Brady and Tannen's dog. Brandon hates dogs. Yeah, dude, he 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 hates things with four legs. He's legist. All right, this is what we're going to do. Because I like Tom Brady.
Just wait, buddy. We're going to head OUT in a second. Ooh, come on, man. We're not. Brent Dalway just done it. Dude, they're coming. They're coming. I got I got my finger on the trigger, Mr. Dalloway. Don't tempt me with a good time. They announced Brady retired. No way. Yo, if if this did happen, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start crying. Has Tom Brady retired from football? I might start crying slash drinking on stream. Oh, Tom Brady has insisted. All right, no, nothing so far. Nothing so far. Playing the Rams. Yes, I would have rather played the Rams than the 49ers. Or than the 49ers than the Saints. Uh, we're gonna keep this. No, shoot. I thought I had a I thought I had a uh, I thought I had a cantrip. We still keep it anyways, but if this hand had a cantrip, it'd be nice. <clears throat> We've gotten bodied by the Saints. That's not true. I think saying that Tom Brady would have got bodied in any Super Bowl is, wow, dude, we're so good at this game. I think saying that Brady would have been bodied in any Super Bowl is a little over the top. Yes, but, like, it's a different situation, right? Wow. You got it. Like, that Patriots defense. Yeah. But, like, that, I mean, that deep, like, does he, like, they shut down, like, whatever it is, the best, the statistical best offense in the NFL. Right? I would love to draw a blue card. I didn't. I'm so unlucky. What do I want to do here? I think I'm just going to, like, play this. So, like, this is the one out of, out of this hand I want. I care about this the least. But playing Pyromancer then getting into a fight over back to basics is kind of nice. So I'm just going to play the Pyromancer. The Saints were the best team in the NFL for the season as a whole. I would agree. I would agree that the Saints... I, I, told, I told my grandfather that I thought the Saints were the best team... I talk a lot of football with my grandfather. I thought the Saints were the best team in the playoffs. How's it going, Amusement? What do you got? You got a force? If you have a force, I don't have shit. Okay. So now we're going to attack and we're going to play Bitter Blossom because Bitter Blossom doesn't really care about uh, um, cards. I, I kind of just want to, like, grind him out and then have this Bob be the nail in the coffin when he expends a bunch of resources. I'm really sad I can't make Tom Brady deflate and feels false jokes now. Um, I think I'm supposed to force this. Like, they, they can't plus it. I don't know. They have to, like, plus it to keep it there. All right. Oh, you said nothing but lands? That sucks. All right. Let's get this 3-2. Yeah, that's what I thought. Because, like, whatever. If I force a will, then I've got four power on the board. 
if they force back, they have one card in a Jace. So they either brainstorm, I kill their Jace, they plus, and I and like I put their Jace to one, and I'm, my Bitter Blossom is still like, like not even a Terminus fixes things because like they're at such a their Jace at such a low total. I'm gonna chat. I'm gonna try these same. Take it easy, Teddy. Um, I probably I played two legacy leagues, so I don't think I'm gonna play any Bricks of Shadow today. I'm tired. I've already I made a bunch of mistakes in the first two games because I was just like, like really bad mistakes. I was just tired. Hater. I banned him. What gives you the right? Okay, we don't want this because we're going to likely be playing our Delver on turn one. Like, if we knew we were drawing a land, then, like, we could keep that, but... Though, what, Regionals is... Regionals is coming up here in a bit. Playing it's a Flooded Strand strategy. Being on the mulligan against the Flooded Strand deck is kind of sad. <clears throat> I don't know anything about I don't know anything about this guy. Tom Brady wants me to play Quixis. Well, I have to take you-know-who O-U-T after this league. All right, we got a brainstorm. I think against Flooded Strand Ponder, I'm just going to play this Delver. Like, I could hold up, like, if we die here, we die here, whatever. A lot of lone players play their bombs good. I was wondering why I didn't see my player had double strategies. Well, Jim Davis liked him, you liked him beforehand. If I remember right, we're going to flip this. Yes. Okay. Predict. So I should brainstorm. Gross. I guess I just daze it, play my land, ponder, and shuffle. Okay. Pick my land up so we can make another land drop. Attack, ponder, and shuffle. I guess we don't necessarily have to shuffle, but like, we know one of the cards is bad. That second land drop is real nice. But am I shuffling to like a force of will when I don't have another land? I don't think so. Yeah. That's what I thought, Mr. Dalloway. We just get back to basics here. We just hurl. Okay, nice. Nice. So my play next turn is I kind of want to, what is this, Counterbalance, Merchant Scrolls, so we're playing it's like High Tide? What the hell is going on here? Okay. 
So my bottom card's Lightning Bolt. This took a turn for the worst. So if I just play Bob, I'm going to die, right? So, if I just play Bob, I'm going to lose, probably. But I don't know what holding up Stifle is going to do, and I can get two cards to look at Force of Will, basically, because, like, Daze isn't going to do anything. Alternatively, I can go Bolt, Attack, 9. So, if I put Bob on the table, I attack for 7. Then, if they fetch, they die. I think I'm just gonna like. I think I'm. I think I'm most certainly very dead. Just to go on top, or they get to draw this. Put it in your hand. Oh yeah, they went with brain freeze. God, you're so smart, Brandon. No matter what Brad says about you, you're just smart. Huh. All right, I'm still going to brainstorm because I would like to find, like, a third land. Okay, you got it. So I'd like to set up my draws that's, like, third land, play Bob, have Stifle. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what's going on. All I know is I'm bolting, I'm brainstorming for a third land and I'm bolting my opponent. My opponent says BRB. Oh my god. Look at this. This is after the team series, because like apparently like CFB's in second. But it's because of Luis's finishes. This is great. Look at all these. <laughs> I can't believe Twitter's free. I can't believe Twitter's free. I think that like, like whatever. I wonder, I would pay for Twitter. I would probably pay like five bucks a month for Twitter. Buster Storm. Okay. I'm still just going to bolt my opponent. I could have stifled the triggers and then not gotten it to resolve. My opponent does have to kill me here. Hey, Phil. Hi, Tide. You got it. More high tides. <clears throat> Ponder. I need to like shuffle into like three forces and three blue cards in like a daze. Or like a spell pierce. Turnabout. You got it. Make 78 mana. Merchant scroll. You got it. I probably bolt my opponent, right? Hey, I'm hoping. 
I'm thinking, I'm trying to map it out. It's probably like three forces, three blue cards, and a stifle. That's what I'm looking for. All right, you can have time spiral. All right. Oh man, I'm gonna spell pierce the shit out of something here. We can probably hit that good old F6 button now. Time spiral until I'm dead. How do I side more? I probably cut my wastelands. Bring in Inquisitions, Pyroblast. You guys said they don't play Candelabra anymore? I asked that question and I was I was scolded. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Cut like fork bolt, four wastelands, and a true name, probably. Turnabout. Forty four mana. Feels cunning wish. From outside the game, put it in your hand. Exile Cunning Wish. Just kill me. What are they doing? Am I going to get Spell Pierce? No. No, couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Okay, so these come in, and I think we just go here. We call it, and then we just brown our opponent. I appreciate all the follows. I've been, uh, I've missed those. I keep my volume on down because it messes my YouTube video. Like it coming through the, the. The uh, computer noise is weird, but I appreciate everyone's followed. I would like to play first, and I would like to play a Delverino on turn one. I don't think I'm going to brainstorm on my upkeep to flip this Delver because I'm just going to jam a. I appreciate these guys. You're so supportive, Brandon. I'm really glad that I have a friend like you. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really do anything. Like, Wasteland doesn't actually help me cast spells. I mean, it kind of does because it's mana, but, like, it's not colored. Hang on, buddy. It's the last match. Then we're going to go OUT. Do you want to say hi to Twitch chat? We're going for a ride, Twitch chat. Hey, boy. Say hi to everybody. Phil, say hi to everybody. Whoa. There he is. What a good boy. Hi, Twitch chat. So you count a wasteland on a spell slot then? Yeah, kind of. I mean, like, sometimes you need wasteland. Sometimes it, like, cat it actually casts things. But, like, it doesn't really do anything. This, uh, this Gurdad. No bueno. No bueno right now. Dude, he is the best. He makes me happy. He gets his balls taken off, and then I can take days off of work.
Was it actually correct to flip this Delver, or is it just like best to hope this Delver flips and then play the Pyromancer? Like, I'm fairly certain that I'm just going to play the Pyromancer next turn. Regardless of what happens. Hey, leave it. If I was on the draw, that might change a thing or two. But... Spell snare. So now that I hit a spell snare, I have something I can do with my mana. I think I'm just gonna, I don't think I'm gonna play this young pyromancer. Cause that hits like merchant scroll and predict. Now we're just gonna, this young delver is gonna Take us to the promised land. I'm going to brainstorm and then day. I don't think they play days. And if they do, they're going to get browned. Um, I think we can actually just shuffle away both of these. Like, the Bob's better, I think, than... We could have shuffled away a land, I guess. This is in the scroll or predict turn. Yeah, dude, you're fake news doll away over there. I think I'm just going to... Uh, this was stupid of me because I fetched here. But I'm going to play Bob, so I don't really want to daze. So I'm just going to spell pierce this. Or Spell Snare, excuse me. Ooh, Daddy drew a Stifle. Opponent's probably just never going to draw a fetch line for the rest of the game. I'm going to be sad. Because they have fetch lands. And, like, what else is I going to board out? Like, I cut this, a true name, and four wastelands. And brought in, like, surgical. Yeah, Brandon. Brandon Dalloway, as, as, <laughs> what's, as Brad would say. I always chuckle every time he says Brandon's name like that. All right, uh, Ponderosa off of this. Bang. Okay. You got it, friend. I guess a fluster storm kind of browns this here. It gets this and this, right? Because they have the kid they like just target on both things. It can't be right in a million years to hit that with a force, but at least I don't think it is, especially with my last. Yeah, I mean, I think forcing that would be just loosey-goosey. So is this going to work? God, I feel like if our opponent forces, we should force back. But, like, I don't know. I'm going to make them commit man on their turn. It's all we have going on, also. A day's 
Days this probably. This is just cycling because they don't know the top card of their deck. Because they fetch, they continue their fetch line. So we just like let this go again. They can say basic island and then have a decently high chance of hitting. No. Play my land. Pass. <clears throat> I've got I had two one YouTube video go up today. I've got four more that are set to go up in the next three days. And then after these two leagues, I'll have six that are like going out this week. I still have my whatever it is, my Wednesday stream too. I think I'm gonna play Shadow on Wednesday. Cause like I've got regionals. I'll just like hold my nose and pray that it's not that bad. I think I'd fetch because these cards don't do anything for me. Because it's like it's like land Bob. True name. Into surgical. That's got to be good. I think I want to. Cunning Wish. I'm going to Surgical the Merchant Scrolls right now. I'm likely going to counter this, but at least this is going to let me know what's going on. Well, they can't even force back here because they're at one. Let's see how they sideboarded. This might be a loose surgical, but I, I mostly just did this to like see what was going on. Hope of Gearper. <clears throat> yeah, modern is modern is Dece minus. They would just ban Faithless Looting. Things would be so much better in modern. We have to get rid of that card. Okay. So that's what they drew. So they have Forcible Predict Time Spiral. I don't really know how I lose, but I don't think I have to counter this. I mean, I could just force this, and I think, like, I don't know. Like, they can predict into something, I guess. But, like, they're predicting a high tide doesn't do anything. The Faithless Loading decks are just miserable, though, in my opinion. Like, maybe not miserable, but they're, like, uh, chooses not to shuffle their library. So, my opponent's hand right now is... Force of Will predict time spiral. So we force this. Not forcing this seems like we're playing with fire. Okay, my opponent doesn't make me do it. Okay. And again, we're just going to submit. We've got enough stuff on our sideboard to handle whatever it is, the gear per ether grids they brought in, or hope of gear per. Yeah. This will be the last match of the stream, game of the stream. I really appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out today. It's been a fun stream. Y'all are great. We get to play fast and loose. Our deck gets worse on the draw. 
as Stifle does. Come on, opponent. Bring it. All right, giving it a keeper ruski. We're probably just gonna go underground see go. I don't think my opponent's deck can turn to me. Right? Can they even turn to? They don't have any fast mana. Yeah, they just like can't turn to me, so I should literally just play my Delver. <clears throat> yeah, so we're just going Delver. Delver go. Hope of Kirper. I think that changes things. Now I kind of want to find a land, a red land to destroy that. And that we did. Sacrifice this until your next turn if target player who was dealt combat damage with him can't cast on creature turn. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to draw the days. Next turn, bolt, and then be able to brainstorm into the force at will if we need to. I think this is what we're doing. Though they might just play around days with their cantrips. This hope does mess some things up a little bit. Throws up Ted a bit of a monkey wrench in. <clears throat> I'll let this go. I think we have to... Yeah, I think I'm just going to go Lightning Bolt into uh, Hold Up, Spell Pierce, Days. I think that's the game plan. My opponent can't... My opponent's deck can't turn through me. So, oh, they can turn three me. They couldn't turn two me. But I doubt they're going to be able to do it through interaction. So I'm going to bolt this thing on my opponent's upkeep. It's upkeep lightning bolt. Cluster Storm. So I can spell Pierce. No, I can't even spell Pierce in days. Yo, this Hope of Gear Purr is like annoying as fuck. Yeah, I guess we just let this go. Now we have to fight over cantrips. Like any cantrip my opponent plays, we have to we have to get. <clears throat> okay, so we're drawing force. I think I just ponder. There's a bolt. Okay. Bolt this now. I don't think my opponent's going to beat me on five cards through a force of will, but like, you know, more power to you.
So now I play Delver off of Underground Sea. Then we have Spell Pierce Blast. Yeah, I don't think this is worth a Force of Will from us. I don't remember what our last card underneath of this is, but. I'm probably gonna, I don't remember if, I don't remember if this thing's gonna flip my Delver, which is the problem. So I'll probably end of turn Brainstorm, just cause I would like to have a, these two counter magic up and this. Put two cards on top. I'm just gonna spell pierce this. They're putting two on top. Let's just fight over to two for one. It gets a fluster storm out of their hand. I wish I knew what my bottom card was. I don't remember if it's a land or like a threat. So I'm, I'm going to upkeep Brainstorm. We're going to flip this Delver. We're going to get this game moving. I put this under this. Reveal brainstorm. So now I have pyroblast and double force. So like, you know, make it happen, bud. Search your library for a blue instant. This can get a fluster storm. I think I'm just gonna blast this. Like it's probably has a high tide, but if they have, if they like, they just use the fluster storm. If they need another one rolled up to get through the force through what they're doing. I think I'm just going to play my Pyromancer because I have double counterspell up. Because, like, right now they go from 17 to 14 to 11. 17, 14, 11, 8. I guess they go 14. So, next turn they go to 11, 8, 5, 2, dead. So, it's a 5 turn clock. They go to 9, 4, dead. Yeah, we're just going to play this Pyromancer. And see if they can win through just double force. And if we use both of our forces, it's a two turn clock. You may choose an instant from outside of the game. All right, I'm gonna let this go. I think. Though this could be another force. This could be like a maybe. Maybe I was supposed to force this because I would like to force a will while my pyromancer is in play because it creates tokens. Maybe this is loose. Maybe this is just too aggressive for me doing this. Loose and Zenith, okay. Force of Will, Pitch Cycle. Mega Token. So they have Blue Sun Zenith X. That's good. Okay. I'm going to brainstorm on my turn because I would like to hit a discard spell. We didn't. So what is this? Three. 
three, six, five, seven. So I guess we just put both of these back. We can't play. We can't play Bob and. Um, we can't play Bob and uh, have four some days in our hand. So would they put that on top? They didn't, oh, they didn't put anything in their graveyard. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. So they have Blue Sun Zenith X. Okay, so just force. And they're dead. I guess they were dead anyways. No, the, we only had seven power in play. All right. Let's head back, wrap up the deck, and then we'll move forward. We got our 3-2. Let's open up our pretty chest. Get this, get this here, this pity bread, and then we'll talk about the deck. All right, nothing good. <clears throat> okay, yeah, two o two into three two feels good. So I think I, I still like what this deck's doing. We went five five on the day. Um, I think we made a mistake against the Delver opponent by not being aggressive aggressive enough in our first match and then we got out we just got punked outdrawn off the top of the deck by the other Del by the Delver opponent in the third game so we tossed that one but I think we still should have won um things that I'm excited to move forward with trying this deck I want the fourth stifle but I think I'm interested in like changing things up like I, I want to try I want to try cutting a land like, so for next time, I think I'm going to do something like this. And I'm just, I'm just doing this now while we're thinking. I like how the, I like the discard spells because they were just kind of like, the discard spells were like a hard switch in for um, the stifles in the draw, which was nice. The spell snare also helps in the draw. So that's a good like deck building kind of thing. Um... There's a chance that three true names is just like too clunky. And then maybe I should play another angler. But then the bobs get a little weird. This also brings me up to 28 hits on Delver. Which I like. Um, when it comes to the sideboard, the sideboard feels pretty nice. Like, I don't have Flusterstorm, but I, I Flusterstorm doesn't really do it for me where I want it. Like, I want... But I think Flusterstorm is like medium against Storm because they're so cheap that they outpace you with your mana. And sometimes you can Storm their their big hit. You know what I mean? But like, I think most of the time they can play around that as opposed to like a discard spell being a proactive answer to like a tutor is good. So I like these discard spells a lot. I like that there are Inquisitions because Inquisition comes in against like Grixis Control... Um, it comes in in the mirror over the stifles and the draw. So I think that's, I think that's good. Um, again, we're up to 28 Delver hits. Um, we could maybe shave a Bob and then play another piece of interaction. Maybe that's a main deck thought tease. I'm down to try something like that. I just want to make my deck a little better on the draw and there's a chance that three dark confidants is just too many to play to have it be good on the draw. So, um, I don't know. What do you What do y'all think? I'm gonna while I while y'all let me know. I'm going to find someone to host.